The first question. The active principle of this poison is. See, nowadays you get more questions like this. You will be given an image. You need to identify the active principles. There are two steps in this kind of questions. One is to identify the poison properly. And six, second one is to identify the active principle properly. This is very simple. Thorn apple image was given. And you know thorn apple is nothing but your datura. Okay. The active principle of datura you know very well. It is hyosin and atrophin. So the correct answer is hyosin. We have discussed this many many times in our lectures. You can see this is datura, thorn apple. Now, so now datura, you know very well that datura, it belongs to the group deliriant. We also need to know which group the poison belongs to. Datura belongs to the group delirium. The active principle is the active principle is hyosin, hyosin and atrophin. Right? I have made hyosin bolder because you know very well hyosin is the primary active principle of datura and atrophin is only traces. Okay, that can be asked as a future question. So you should know datura, it is hyosin. Since it is basically since it is basically delirium, it is anticholinergic. So you will get a question like a person has come with uh, features of uh, dry skin, dry mode, delirium. What is the probable a poison you can expect? You need to know it is nothing but datura. Okay. Friends, we'll move on to the next. See, what I've done is I've listed some of the few plant poisons images so that you will have to identify the plant and the active principles appropriately. I have intentionally shuffled all the plant poison so that it will not be in group wise. It will be useful for our learning purpose. The first one, this is Datura. We know that you can see the thorn apple. Not only you can see the thorn apple, you can also see the brown color Datura seed. Sometimes they can get question, Datura seed resembles which seed? Datura seed resembles this capsicum seeds. Okay, And this is the white color flower of Datura. We have many species, Datura alba, Datura niger. This white color flower, it indicates that it is Datura alba species. This is castor plant. Okay. And what is the active principle of this castor plant, friends? This is resin. We have many active principles for resinous communists, but the most, the primary active principle is resin. What is this plant? This plant can also be called as the sweet poison. Nothing but your aconite. Aconite. Devil's helmet, Meeta Seher, sweet poison. This is one of the cardiotoxic plant. What is the active principle? The active principle is nothing but your aconitin. Aconitin. We have various alkaloids from this. We have pseudo aconitin, indo aconitin, picro aconitin. But the primary active principle is aconitin. The primary active principle is aconitin. Okay, fine. Moving further. What is this poison? Very unique poison, one of its kind. It is nothing but Strychnos nuxvamica. You know very well, this is a spinal poison. Okay, it's a spinal poison. What is the active principle, friends? We have got three important active principle for strychnos. Three important active principle is one is strychnine. The second one is brucin. The third one is logan. Strychnine, brucin, and logan. So we have got primarily three active principles. If they ask you which is the most important active principle, the most important active principle is strychnine. Okay, so we need to know it is strychnos nux vomica, which is a spinal poison. Sometimes they can ask you what is the other spinal poison. You should know we have got another spinal poison that is gelsemium. That is another spinal poison. The next plant is Abrus precatorius. We can see the Abrus seeds. You can see the red color egg shaped seed with the tip being black. Crab's eye, rosary pea, unchi. We have seen all these things. The active principles are many basically, but the most important active principle is Abrin. We have Abralin, Abric acid, Abrine. 
and remember this seed is used for sewing needles we have already discussed about that for cattle poisoning this particular seed is very commonly used you know this plant very well what is this plant this is cannabis one of the most commonly used abuse substance cannabis what is the active principle friends this cannabis has got cannabinoids cannabinoids and the most important one is tetrahydrocannabinol remember that tetrahydrocannabinol friends this is one of the delirium cannabis belongs to the group delirium we also need to know the group as well sometimes we may get questions on the delirium as well okay what is this particular capsule what we are seeing is a capsule this is capsule of poppy plant opium plant pepaver somniferum and from the juice of this pepaver somniferum we get all opioids okay if you cut this opium capsule inside the capsule we will get seed the poppy seed and this poppy seed is non toxic this opium alkaloids they we have many morphine codeine thebane we have many natural opioids okay remember this is pepaver somniferum nothing but your opium plant opium plant